Uh, greetings, since the rhythm of a fellow mastermind in your attire. Pretty well, what the devilish tune do you bring to my lair tonight? I've been thinking of making a new death metal record. Do you have any bands I should listen at? Oh, death metal, a perfect choice for putting chaos in discord. Allow me to recommend some bands that will surely ignite your demonic inspiration. Uh, Behemoth, a Cannibal Corpse, and Death are all worthy candidates for your further playlist. It was supposed to be the bad one. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A night tech trouble? I hope you got a good reason for interrupting my solitude. Hey, Dr. Fifty. Yeah, my lab equipment is acting up. I'm kind of in trouble. Do you have any ideas? Uh, lab equipment acting up, huh? Well, I might have some ideas, but it's gonna cost you. What's in it for me? I'll pay double your normal ratings. Double the normal rates, huh? Now that's more like it. I suppose we could discuss your lab troubles inside. Come on in, but remember, my services aren't cheap. Oh, that's okay. Should have stayed in that school. Hey there, my funky friend! What brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour of the night? I'm looking for new ideas for a music video, and you, Woodrow Chops, always have the best ideas of the entire neighborhood. Oh. Well, shucks, you flatter me like a disco ball in the spotlight. Tell me, what kind of music are we talking here? Funky beats or something to make your feet move? Oh, definitely something to make your feet move. Something that you'll be as fast as Sonic. Ah, uh, you speak my language. How about we combine some high energy kung fu move with a groovy electronic beat? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Oh my god, his haircut. That ponytail is evil. You broke my chi flow! Hey there, buddy. Can I do for you? Hey, Michelle. Do you got some maple syrup for sale? I'm making a new brew and I need some good maple syrup for it. Well, ain't that a coincidence? I got the finest maple syrup this side of the forest. How much are you looking to buy? It depends. How much do you got in stock? Well, I got plenty of syrup in stock. Hey, just tell me how much you need. And I'll make sure you set with the sweetest syrup you ever tasted. Uh, maybe let's start with three gallons. Three gallons, eh? That's a hefty amount of sweetness. You got yourself a deal, my friend. Come on in and seal the deal with a good old Canadian handshake, eh? Sounds good. I'm in. Great. I knew I can count on you. Come on in, my friend. The syrup's waiting for you and we can have a good chat while we're at it. That's not a Canadian accent at all. Hey, what's poppin' in Attack World? Ready to code and chill or what? Oh, are you ready to code? I didn't know you can code, Millie. Oh, totally. I mean, I've dabbled in coding for a bit. It's like so important in today's tech-driven world, you know. What kind of coding do you do? Oh, you know, a bit of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React. That's awesome. Sounds like you're a coding pro. I mainly stick to HTML and CSS, but I've been meaning to learn JavaScript. Any tips for a coding newbie like me? Yeah, I can definitely recommend looking up some YouTube videos on JavaScript or maybe start a course on JavaScript. It's pretty complicated. Oh. OMG, you're a lifesaver. I'll definitely check out those YouTube videos. Hey, maybe you'd like to come on, come on in and maybe we can check out some YouTube videos together. Maybe fucking Netflix and chill. Should have stayed home and streamed. Millie, uh, Millie's a girl to my heart. Uh oh, that's police. <sighs> what now? Can't you see I'm busy? What do you want? Oh my god, Jessica, are you okay? You look so tired. Have you been working so much? Do you want to talk about it? No. Yeah, I've been drowning in work lately. Feels like I haven't slept in ages. But talking about it won't make it go away. Thanks for asking, though, I guess. Do you need a friend? You know, burnouts are real, and maybe you need to take a step back from your work. I did once, and it made me feel so much better. I feel Jessica. I've been in that position. Whoa, Mr. Wise Words over here. Look, taking a step back sounds nice, but it's just not that easy in the real world. I can't just abandon my responsibilities. But hey, thanks for this concern, I guess. No, oh, Jessica, I'm serious. If you're not healthy anymore, you won't be able to take care of yourself anymore. You need to take a step back. Oh, fine. You made your point. I'll take a break, okay? Just don't tell anyone I said that. Come on in. Ski a bolt SDF. Not sure about that, man. Poor Jessica, overworked and dead. Take care of your mental health, kids. Oh. Fragile threat. Oh, my sparkly stars. Welcome to my cosmic abode. How utterly delightful to have a fellow free spirit at my doorstep. What celestial wonders have brought you to my humble sanctuary tonight? Gracious Fred, you humble and amazing person. I need you to star in my new music video. Oh dear, that request has triggered my fragile spirit. I must decline in the most delicate manner. I'm afraid I cannot be part of your music video. Why? He's too fragile. Fred is too fragile. 
Hey there, what's the music idea you bring into my tooth? Speak up or scram, I ain't got time for no jibber jabber. Oh. My. God. Is that the real Sony Soprano? The golf hero? Oh, you got some good taste, kid. Yeah, it's me, Sony Soprano, the one and only. What brings you here, trying to serenade me with your music? No, actually, I'm part of a developer team for Golf Hero. It's like Guitar Hero, but then with golf. And I think you are the star for it. Golf Hero, huh? Eh? That's a new one. They my usually usual gig, but I'm always down to try something new. Tell me more about this game of yours, and maybe you can talk business. You slap golf balls on the rhythm of my music, and then the better you slap, the better score you get. It's kind of easy, you know. That sounds pretty damn cool, kid. I like the sound of slapping balls to my to my tunes. You've earned yourself an invite. Come on in, let's talk business. I'm giving out so many ideas for free today. This ain't the family business. Dude, what? What brings you to my humble garden of green wonders at this godly hour? I'm sorry, bud, but I just couldn't sleep at night. I need some greens, some flowers, some plants to lighten up my home. Do you have any ideas? Hey, man, no worries. I got you covered. How about some vibrant succulents of colorful orchids? They definitely bring those good vibes to your home. What kind of colors are you thinking about, bud? Oh man, I'm into all sorts of colors, but I'm particularly loving the deep purple, vibrant pinks and fiery orange lately. They add a real pop of energy to your space, you know? Huh, didn't really think about those colors. How about red? What do you think of red? Red, right, huh? Well, it definitely makes a bold statement, but it can also be a little intense. It really depends on the vibe you're going for, man. If you want to create some fiery and passionate, red could be perfect. But if you prefer some more relaxed and soothing atmosphere, you might want to go for some cooler colors. Huh, I didn't really think of that, but you're such a smart guy. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Well, here's a pro tip. Make sure you give your plants the right amount of sunlight, water, and love. And don't forget to talk to them. They love a good conversation. It's all about creating a nurturing environment, you know? Talking to your plants, that's a thing. How about music? Do plants like music? <laughs> Absolutely, dude! Plants totally groove to the music. Some studies say that playing soothing tunes can actually help to make, make them grow better. This is why I like death metal. I ain't your blood, bud. Oh my gracious, what a helpful delight. How can I help you, my dear? You know, Maud, I look at your plants in your front yard, and I, I was gonna say, you have the best taste in the entire world. Well, bless your heart, dear. That's mighty kind of you to say. I've always had a special touch when it comes to plants. They seem to flourish under my care. I have to ask, as a plant lover myself, what's your secret ingredient? What's your tip? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, you're quite the green thumbs yourself, aren't you? Well, my secret ingredient is a little bit of love and a dash of dark magic. But don't worry, dear. It's all in good fun. Dark magic? Tell me more about this dark magic. I'm intrigued. Oh well, it's nothing too sinister, dear. It's just a little family tradition passed down the generations. We believe in using the energy around us to connect us with, na uh, with nature. But enough about that. Tell me about your hiking adventures, my adventurous friend. During my last hike, I found a special flower. It's a green hypolopolopolis. And it made me think of you. Well, I'll be a green hypolopolopolis, you say? That's quite a rare find, my dear. I'd love to hear all about it. Come sit on the porch while you share your adventures with me. Uh, yes, I definitely will, uh, but it's kind of chilly outside. Do you have any other ideas? Oh, chilly, you say? Well, how about we move inside and I'll make us a nice cup of hot cocoa. We can cozy up by the fireplace and you can tell them about your discovery. How does that sound, dear? Oh, I'm all in for that. Uh. Wonderful, dear. Just come on in and make yourself at home. I'll get the cocoa started. I'm so excited to hear about your adventures and share some stories on your own. <laughs> Should have baked more garlic bread. Right, let's get our uh, little swipey. Let's get our little swipey back. Well, howdy there, Tex savvy fella. What on earth brings you to my to this door at this god ungodly hour? I'm so sorry, Mr. Boomer. I couldn't sleep, and I need some father advice, if you know what I mean. Father advice, huh? Well, I might not be the most touchy feely type, but I got some wisdom to share. Shoot, and let's see if I can help. I just don't know what I should do career-wise. Music is fun and all, but it doesn't really pay the bills. And I don't know what to go for. Well, Career well. choices, huh? Back in my day, we didn't have all these fancy options. But let me tell you, it's important to find balance between passion and practicality. Maybe you can explore music on the side while pursuing something more stable. It's all about finding what works for you, kid. I do feel what you mean, Mr. Boomer, but I'm just not sure on what to pick career-wise. 
I don't really know what I find fun. Well, son, figuring out what you find fun can be quite the journey. Sometimes it takes a bit of trial and error to discover your true passion. Don't rush in and explore different things. You stumble upon something that lights the fire in your belly. I'm sure of it. I don't know, Mr. Boomer. I, I, I just, I don't know. I need, I need some help, I think. Well, well, looks like you could use some guidance after all. Tell you what, why don't you come in and we can have a chat over a hot cup of coffee. Oh, don't mind if I do. Should have stayed in the 60s. What's your deal, man? What's with the get up? I'm sorry, Raven. I, I know I'm a bit of a tech savvy guy, but I need to find my free spirit. And I think you're the perfect person for that. Oh, yeah. Finding a free spirit, huh? Well, I guess that's cool and all. But what makes you think I can help you with that? Because I think you're the most balanced balanced person in this entire neighborhood. You're smart. You're pretty. So, what should I do? Um, balance? Ha! Huh. That's a first. Well, if you're looking for a dose of my wisdom, I'd say by ditching all these flashy gadgets and just spend some time alone with your thoughts, maybe you'll find a free spirit of yours. How about reading? Does reading help? Do you maybe have an idea for a good book? <laughs> reading, huh? Yeah, it could totally help. I'm into all sorts of dark and mysterious books. How about checking out The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salander? It's all about a rebellious teenager trying to find his place in the world. Kind of relatable, you know? Oh, I didn't know you were into dark and mysterious things. Well, I guess there's more to me than meets the eye. So, DJ, you want to dive into the depths of darkness and mystery together? Let's find that free spirit of yours. Grab your headphone and let's embark on a journey through the pages of the Twisted Tales and Angsty Adventures. Just don't forget to bring stanks. What kind of music are you into, Raven? Music, the language of the soul. I'm all about alternative rock and grungy vibes. From Nirvana to my chemical romance, they speak to you. Okay, well, I guess we're going to fucking follow the Black Parade. I didn't even post my final rant.